Hello once again. So I took a day off and just had some time to chill out from this game because last time I had this English Rebellion that kind of pissed me off but it was expected. Just the moment at which it happened was kind of cheap because the Italians just attacked me. So yeah, now I am uh, I am on the crossroads. So if I want to keep pushing, I will have to fight the French, which are neutral at the moment. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. And of course, I'm gonna fight back the Italians. I want to get access to Croatia. I want to conquer everything here. Maybe I will leave these two areas for them. We shall see, but the English Rebellion at the moment is not a problem. I'm gonna leave them and I will see where it takes them, but I got enough troops for now that I am safe up top. Now this one is a problem because these troops take a lot of my florins per year. Let's just see. Yeah, they were at Portugal and I made a move. So yeah, nearly 2,000 florins, even more. to 2,100 florins, so they gotta die. So yeah, in the next move, I'm gonna use these two, tr uh, these two armies and I'm gonna go for French. And in this move, I'm gonna go for the Italians. And I will see how the Pope reacts to that. I'm strengthening my lines here so the, the Hungarians don't attack me and if they attack me they're gonna be in a predicament but yeah this should do the trick I have all, all, all uh, I have also switched to auto construct buildings because at this point I don't want to waste too much time on that because it really does take too much time and I'm happy with the constructions we did so far we subsided those rebellions and at the moment I, I can leave the, the AI to do its work for me and I'm gonna focus on the main part the, the part that that is the most fun in this game and that is fighting so yeah let's end this here and of course Hungarians are attacking as I predicted I will obey because there is no need to create any more problems for myself. I'm already in a predicament. And this is gonna be one more problem to add to my list. But who cares? Now, if I do this, who knows what will happen? because I will be open to English invasion which will happen, they want Mercia but yeah I'm gonna stick to the plan and not deviate too much from it now I can do this and go towards it now. because I have the ships since I have been focusing on building them and expanding my fleet now this is going to be a huge turn for us let's end it and just before I do that yeah I mean I'm gonna lose some Florence but after the fights that's gonna be okay 
and yeah English are attacking and I am going to fight them to take as many of their troops as I can but I don't think this will end good oh it will it will nice okay Hungarians we are pushing back the French this rebellion is over and we got Corsica too okay let's see what's our alliance status yeah we are deep in war and we are losing a bit Florence at the moment so we have to fight we have to push on and hope for the best going to fight the English up top because I can afford it at the moment and I have to defend my area from the Hungarians come on As much as possible. I'm moving to the shore, all of my troops that I can use so I can jump in the next turn okay I can't do that do it from here because there are enemy ships here but as soon as I defeat the French their ships will disappear and then it will be okay to jump and possible okay we are gonna have a rebellion up here definitely so I'm not gonna move troops and what about here okay we can move them from here So I established that the English do not have a strong commander, that's why they lost the last battle and I was surprised because of that. So at the moment I'm gonna use that to my advantage to stop them before they can create more troubles for me. Okay, this should work. I'm not gonna go for the Egyptians because I don't need any more battles and enemies. Oh, and we lost. Rebellions, rebellions, rebellions. 
Now I will fight the English again. Let me just put some boats here. there now rebellions let's deal with this one these ones are good now I'm gonna do this and this and we shall see what happens The English are gonna get routed in the next turn. Oh. Oh. dealt with the French but at the moment we have to deal with a lot of rebellions and our Florence are looking good at the moment I mean we are still in the negative but since we are having troubles with the rebellions that's gonna help us out with the resources can I do this? no I can't but I can do this okay, fine now we lost a couple of areas so let's assist those areas to deal with Hungarians I don't want them attacking where, when I'm not ready and I reckon I have enough troops to do that I mean it's not going to be an easy battle but it should be possible Looking good. Now where is the area we just lost? It's here somewhere. Probably this one. Yeah, yeah, it's this one. Is enough troops for them to handle it. Let's just send a couple of people here. Okay, let's see what happens. This one is fine. This one didn't end good. This one is fine.
good. We managed to beat the, the Hungarians. And we earned 12,000 floors. Some of these tooltips are just taking so much time. Oh, they are still here in Croatia. Okay, we have to deal with that. Now I'm gonna send out troops from here. It will take some time because I don't have the ships yet. But let's do that first. Let's distribute our ships everywhere we can and this is how I like to do it so for the next move all of my ships can move again And slowly we are expanding now I have to pay attention because this area will get conquered if I don't send out help. and this area too now the English managed to win a fight against me there yeah let's take him out Troops here. What's the gold status? Okay, we are in the positive again. They should be fine for now. So two more enemies to go and since we cannot go for the Italians, Hungarians are next. Can I move my troops now? Yes I can. And a perfect opportunity. Naples are free. Free to be conquered. And we are definitely going to do that. Anything else? We cannot reach the Hungarians yet. But we can move our ships. And in few turns we are going to be there. ships here hard to see okay so the part where we don't connect is here 
but everything else looks good. Now I cannot help out here because there are rebellions. But let's just build more troops to be safe. They can stay here because the ships will be ready for the next turn. So I cannot move here. Hopefully the, the Hungarians do not send any reinforcements. Okay, this was bad. Teaming up against me. gonna split these armies so they can be kind of effective. Yeah the boats. And I have to deal with this rebellion here and help out as soon as possible. You are not going to go for Sicily. I'm not gonna start any more battles. So far it is looking good. But this is the problem. I don't have enough troops to take it. Soon I will start building them. I will have to. Okay, they are on the attack. Hope is not helping. to deal with the Italians right now and I'm gonna conquer this one because it's 
neutral. And I'm gonna go for this one. Just to push them back a bit because they are trying. They are trying. my boats now we connected okay so in the next turn or maybe yeah we have enough boats to do this just leave one out move these here yeah so the next turn is gonna be better This is it. Let's move them and then in the next turn I will co connect. We need a shipyard here. Let's end the year. Feeling good at the moment. The rebellions are holding me back a bit. Okay, decent. Yeah, we have to start working on our troop count again. But the good thing is we have boats, so now we can have a full army in one year. Everything else is looking good. We are strengthening this line here. We won't push further. Yeah, this is a cheap area with low income, so we don't have to focus on it. Yeah, it's looking real good at the moment. Less and less colors on the map. Now I could be cheeky and continue pushing and finally deal with these annoying Hungarians. So the next turn is the end of Hungarians. And then we can move on to the Italians. No, that won't work. are getting stronger but yeah so do I it was a good call to form an alliance with them
missed. It was a real good call to form an alliance because it's easier to fight one enemy than fight four. Even if they are real powerful. But I guess they dealt with the golden horde themselves and saved me the pain of dealing with a huge amount of troops. Yeah, the map is looking nice. Okay. Hopefully this is the end of Hungarians. Okay, they are pushing me back, the rebels. Okay, I'm noticing the areas that I there are that are currently getting rebelled each turn so I'm gonna work on them Portugal, Scotland oh this is not the end of Hungarians they have more troops oh it is it is it is it just didn't notify me okay we are in Croatia and we have men at arms which are good just one type of troops are better in my opinion than them we are gonna work on those we need certain types of buildings to get them now we need some some troops here definitely and here let's get these archers ships again let's leave one here keep moving and I want when I'm ready to attack the no when I want to attack the Egyptians I want to have enough troops on the mainland because after one attack you're done and you can't use your ships until you clear all of their ships out which can happen or you can get cleared by them but since we are at the moment bordering and their expansion is limited by me I'm expecting their attack any moment but until that happens, we can route out the battalions. And when we do that, we are officially going to be neutral again. A peaceful nation. Okay, we said Portugal. We need a lot more troops here. And build a garrison. Yep. And then Scotland. Build a garrison and town watch. And where did they rebel? And I can't see it. Yeah, here. This won't be enough, or will it be? I don't think so. No, it won't. But I have to fight them. I don't want to lose it. Okay, let's see. Can we take out one more province from the Egyptians? Uh, from the Italians? Yes, we can. And the Golden Horde is fighting the Egyptians, which is good. They are gonna weaken them. 